Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Nasmus Kandekar and today we're going to look at and compare the new Outlook.com and the old or current Outlook.com. Microsoft for over a year has been promising to update or upgrade every single user of its Outlook.com consumer email service to the new to a whole new infrastructure, an infrastructure based on its on Microsoft's business email client called Office 365. Um, and uh, for those of you who are not sure or who don't know about Microsoft's email services, I do plan to do another video, inshallah, uh, God willing, about Microsoft's history with its email services. Basically, Microsoft has an email service for consumers called Outlook.com and one for business. It's part of its Office 365 suite. So basically, with this update for its consumer email service, Microsoft will be moving all users and its consumer service to the backend infrastructure of its business service. This will allow more rapid feature releases, more feature parity between the two services, and it'll also mean that the consumers will get many of the features that exist today for businesses only. So without further further ado, um, let's get start let's get started with the comparison. Now this what you have on my screen is my personal email uh, address, it's outlook.com and it hasn't been updated yet uh, now i can't manually update this so what's happening is microsoft has over billion i think over a billion users so and the, the these are hotmail accounts and outlook accounts many of them dating back over a decade and what what's happening is that microsoft has to take all their emails all their contacts and upgrade it properly to the new service so this takes time it takes uh it it's, could be they don't want to lose any data so they're doing account by account so they're doing millions of accounts every week uh, some people have already been updated to the new version i have not but the good news is that i i have an office office 365 account through my university concordia university and so this that way i'll be able to show you the difference between the new outlook.com and the oh sorry new what the new outlook.com will be like using my office 365 email uh, and compared to the existing or the old outlook.com so let's get to it this is not what what the new outlook.com will like it will, will look like for that i have to click mail and here i'm loading new outlook new outlook uh, interface so this is the outlook of office 365 and this is what the new outlook.com will look like a huge improvement with the outlook the new outlook experience is the new editing experience or the new editing feature the editor uh, in the old or the current outlook.com there's a new button and clicking on it takes you to a whole new page and you have some subjects you would send emails to so i'll click him and then you could um test out a, a test subject test subject and you could type message here uh, this is a test message i will write this email or uh, a temporary email for demonstration purposes no i spelt it incorrectly uh, the spell checker is not part of the Outlook email uh, web inter interface. This is actually part of the OS. But yeah, uh, test. This is a test message. I'll test for email. Uh, I'll, this is a temporary email for demonstration purposes. I'll write best. Nasmus Kandiker. Okay, so there's some basic editing features. Uh, bold underline. There's a test or a test test message. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if I could re 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 uh, re change the font here. No, that's just the font size. You have only a few uh, web-based fonts here, not too much. The ba the default is Calibri. You can attach a link. You could add a link. Uh, there's some. I guess I'll just add a color to this. I'll I'll add a color here. I'll make this. Let's see. Um, you have a few color options. I'll make this purple. I'll make this a highlighted color. Highlighted. Um, you could indent numbers, and that's it. Uh, not too much. I'll just put a number, I guess. Nope. Uh, I'll just add a number. There you go. Now uh, there's your test email. But the new Outlook has some major improvements. Uh, so let's take a look at the new Outlook. Let's do a new. 
rather uh, the, the biggest difference right away as you can see is like uh, rather than opening in a total new web page the editor actually opens right in line with your existing email uh, inboxes inbox so let's do a random let's take an email to myself uh, there's a two our recipient uh, CC could add a test subject test subject uh, he oh look n new there's a new feature type an at symbol by the name to mention someone that's that again there's another new feature that you will get as part of the new outlook is a test email for let's do at nasmus at outlook dot com that's my email I guess it didn't oh at nav okay I, I, yeah I could just at mention people in my contacts and it gets highlighted so they'll also receive this email it's very interesting very influenced by Twitter and other social media this editor is much more advanced let's take a look at some advanced editor the interesting thing about this new editor is that it's very uh, based on Microsoft's proven and, and uh, expert or proven and very modern uh, Microsoft Office technology so you have all the fonts from Microsoft Office the all, all the fonts you get in Microsoft op from MS Office desktop suite you get it here the default is Calibri here Remember on the other outlook.com, there's only a few fonts. That's uh, there's also this, which I don't know what that is. That's the font size. You could bold something like so. Uh, let's do a color. You could like color this, color the entire email. Not uh, the purple, no, that's the highlighter. Definitely don't want to do that. Color this purple interesting now we have numbers now here's some interesting you have more advanced tools there's your attachment but you have some more advanced tools here like the table very and, and then the interface for creating a table is very much like again Microsoft Office desktop suite this is oh this is I can't tab a table okay that needs to be fixed okay but yeah there's your table you could have you have other options here you could like uh, uh what is this remove hyperlink you have remove formatting strike through subscript superscript a lot more advanced formatting options you have attachments attach picture i was trying to find my usb drive i think you have some emojis here uh basic microsoft emojis um, that are standard for Microsoft platforms. You have now, in addition, you have add-ins. So you could add a template from Microsoft. You could even get more add-ins. I, I do believe I should do a video on. Um, oh, there's this option to pop out the window. Uh, let's do another one. So there's save draft, save show form, check names, set importance, switch to plain text, show message options. Interesting. I wonder what that. I don't wonder what show message options is. Okay, normal. Okay, got it. And there you then this is the basic editor of the current dialog.com. You could of course have additional options: plain text, ed edit in HTML, rich text, high priority, low priority, insert uh, files as attachments, pictures in line, share from OneDrive. You could share from OneDrive. You could also share photos from OneDrive here. Or I think you could attach files from OneDrive. Yeah, you could attach files from OneDrive. There's my OneDrive. You would uh, get it from the computer. Again, the inter interface is very much like Microsoft Office. But yeah, there you go. There is the Outlook experience, the editor experience of the new Outlook. The new Outlook.com or new Outlook.com will support lots and lots of themes. So in Outlook.com, you have uh, only a few selection of colors. You don't have too much of a theme choice, except you could change colors: purple, blue. Yep, cyan. I I, I I like. I used to have pink. I also like this lime green. But I'll, I I also like. But I, I prefer to stick with this navy navy blue because it looks quite professional. So what I'm going to do is going to set my theme to be that professional blue or navy blue. I think it's this one. That way. You, oh, <laughs> now this lime green. That way. There's a pink one right there. 
more fair we have a more fair approach of comparing the two so immediately if you look they look almost uh, they, they look very similar they, they, they kept the width uh, height of the header very exactly the same there's your middle uh, there's your uh, list of emails folders and message box you click something Kickstarter and there's some emails there's your email and here on outlook on the new outlook.com you have your list of emails the inbox here it's kind of you could click check this box here and select all your email but you could click an email here let's click this but yeah so you could see your email here you could once you select an email uh, you have options to delete archive junk sweep you could like auto uh, make some rules to automatically move email uh, emails from this center to a specific folder or like delete them you could mo move just this full just this email you could put it in categories you also have pin unpin flag and many uh, and many other options in fact when you hover over this email you have uh, these options to delete to mark as read uh, or unread you have flag or pin uh, pin is I don't know what pin does oh pin, pin just puts in the top I don't know what flag does I thought pin and flagging is the same thing or they just highlighted and I guess flag is more compatible with more email clients but on outlook.com front you only have here you only have um, mark this message as read or unread uh, delete this message and flag this the pin option is not there and when you select a message uh, unlike here there's uh, some small icons uh, in the toolbar here the toolbar is on the blue header whereas in there the blue header only says outlook uh, you have new uh, reply you could select this reply all forward delete archive junk sweep move to categories and you have these extra options and there's your folder another thing uh, the outlook dot or the new outlook dot com has is clutter clutter is a way to um, uh, that automatically puts like uh, flyers and other emails that are not junk mails but things that you that are not from people like your in your contacts or Th these are basically like flyers or advertisements or um, newsletters that you subscribe to, but not emails from personal personal con contacts. So Microsoft automatically moves some of these emails in the clutter. Uh, the new Outlook.com will have that. In fact, Microsoft's upgrading it to something called a focused inbox. So if you don't see clutter, you'll probably see focused inbox, which does the same thing. Focused inbox. Is um, shows only email or mostly emails you might care about, where uh, full inbox shows everything. So again, very interesting. You have groups that's not available in this out Outlook. Now let's take a look at the Skype. This is, this is what the Skype looks like. This Skype for business, but you'll get the regular Skype on Outlook.com. So it's Skype, and you have settings. Uh, this is my avatar. You could click it and could. Change it to available or invisible. If edit profile, account settings, or sign out. There's your account picture on your the new outlook. You have uh, your account picture circle, and you have more options to keep it um, available, busy, do not disturb, be right back, appear away, and reset status. You would set status, sign out of IM. You can't sign out of IM on Outlook. You could have about me, open another email inbox. That's interesting. So you have all the else of help. You also have add-ins. That bear that requires a different look. You can like add more plugins and extensions to your email. You can you, when you get the new Outlook.com, you'll be able to add like I don't know Uber or I don't know Starbucks. You could add more extension to enhance your experience uh, on the new Outlook. These are, I believe, your notifications on your settings. You could you have it's more clear. The settings are more organized, and this is where things are awesome. We can, you get themes. We'll take a look at the themes in a bit. Actually, let's take a look at the themes now. Um, let's see what the themes are like. There's uh, there's this theme, uh, my favorite, and we have this um, moving theme. You can see um, the water's moving. We have this purple theme. Actually, that's that's really nice. Actually, um, we have this. There's another one very blocky there's a Lego theme right there my sister really likes that uh, my sister loves this and this 
this one too because this one moves and it's very calming on the eyes. Notice that the themes change the color of your uh, selection here on the folder and the last week. Oh, by the way, the emails are also, you could easily sort them. You could sort it by date, flagged, to me. Uh, if it's a sub, you could, you could only show emails that are directly to you and not BC or CC. Uh, sort it by date, or filter them, sorry, sort them and turn on, turn on and off conversation views. That's very cool. That That's not available on the old outlook.com. You have some sorting options, but not too much. Um, let's see what theme, what what other themes are available. Now we have this. See, these are very lots of cool themes that you could check out. That I think is very, and you could, you could also, you, and then you could also stick with uh, this. This color looks really nice. You could also stick with the classic solid colors. There's black, I believe. Yep. Yeah. You can stick with these solid colors. I, I like them. I like them. But uh, I do prefer these themes. They're very nice. I think I'm going to stick with this one. I think. Yep. Yeah. I'll stick with this one. Uh, let's undo this. Uh, okay. All right. So let's see. And now uh, let's take a look at the other sections of Outlook.com, the new versus the old. And again, your settings are you have to go to options to see more uh, text based settings, not as Cool. It's not. It's not as organized as the um, settings here, which opens up a panel and it's very automatic replies, offline. So if you click here, you get an automatic slide out panel that lets you um, do stuff. Or you could have offline settings. So uh, let's see. Allows you to turn on offline access. You could use this. You could use this computer when it's not connected to a network. So yeah, you could have offline email. That's so cool. That's really nice. Um, you have display settings, manage add-ins. There's your plugins. You could like add plugins, extensions. This is very cool. This is something that's really coming in the new Outlook.com. Starbucks for Outlook, Find Time, Uber Ride, uh, DocuSign, iGlobal, Yelp. Uh, see, there's a lot of this. Uh, Zoom in for at first I thought it was a zombie connector. No, zoom in for connector Evernote for Outlook, Team Viewer. These are very cool. You could have all these um, add ons and you could develop your own add ons too. And now let's take a look at the other section. You have calendar and you also have people. There, you also have something called tasks. So these are new stuff that you will get as part of the new outlook.com the calendar is upgraded I believe you have you have weather with a calendar yep you'll have weather info as you can see you'll have the weather info dates you'll have groups again that's new I think might not be there's your contact this is what the people app look like or people P yeah, people apps look the people app look like and you could add tasks to do tasks on outlook.com on the other hand you have to click here you have to click here by the way, you could also do that on the uh, other Outlook, uh, but on the Outlook, it's very, it's more, uh, what do you call it? Outlook.com, it's more simple. I'm getting tired of all these open, flashing on edge. Okay, um, now you have people. You also have calendar here. So these are the different. See, this is what the calendar looks like. Not very pretty here. There's the tasks is integrated to the calendar. A view we could turn on. Uh, let's see, month view. Let's do month view here. And you also have there's no weather info on the calendar, I believe. You also have people. There's your people. Very cool. That's very. It's just not very uh, sophisticated here, but uh, it's really nice on the new outlook.com. Uh, so I, I don't know did you get the new outlook.com yet uh, if you did let me know because it's gonna be very cool if you did oh there's the new dashboard says oh uh, yeah install office 2016 install office 2016 next say hello to the app launcher got it cool uh, this is the dashboard I don't think you'll get that as part of the new outlook but you will get this which is very nice uh, yeah, I, I like it I like the new outlook.com you get the extensions I might do a more look in-depth look at the extensions later but there's your calendar so I have the day view, view, week view, uh, month view. It's very much, much more easier. It's nicer looking. It's so much better. And I hope you get uh, get to enjoy the new outlook when is when you get it. Um, I know in July I will, but it's very nice. 
Uh, so let me know if you did you get the new envelope yet? I have not, but I have I have the pleasure, I have the uh, blessing to uh, I've had the blessing to be able to enjoy the new outlook without having to wait for the new outlook because I have a part of Office 365. So yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you want, if you want a more in-depth look at the new outlook.com, I'll definitely let me know. I'll definitely take a look. I do plan to ensure a look at the extensions and, and do want to make another video about the Microsoft's journey to outlook. To the, to the journey into their different email services and how they're bringing them to, to one more cohesive experience. So, yeah. So, thank you, everyone, and uh, have a great day.